Did you know humans devote 30 to 40% of their speech output purely to stating their opinion and telling other people about their own experiences? And according to study, they do this because apparently it gives them the same feeling that a reward would give them. So the same neural mechanism that you would get when you're rewarded is the same sort of feeling you would get when you share your opinion with others. And I've done my research and apparently a guy called Michael Pentaman proves that social media is a logical consequence in the evolution of the need to share information with others. And this apparently started in the first drawings that were ever found on the cave walls. And this pyramid you see here, you may recognise before, it's pretty famous, pretty darn popular. And you will find that this picture matches social media to our basic needs according to this pyramid. So as you can see here, it is relating our basic needs to feeling that we should share our opinion on the internet. It's pretty crazy how they link up if you look at this picture and study it properly. But I'm not going to go too much into that because otherwise you feel like you're back at school and we've just got into the summer holidays and here I am trying to teach you stuff. But the main points I'm actually trying to bring across and the things that I found really interesting is the fact that disclosing information about ourselves triggers a much more positive reward feeling than considering information from other people. And a study also proves that people were prepared to forego a monetary award for sharing information about themselves more than information about general questions. This means that sharing information about themselves has more value to them. And lastly, talking about thoughts and emotions stimulates the reward systems in your brain even when it is done privately, which is odd, just sat in your room on your own. However, when there is opportunity to share it with others, the reward is even higher. So sharing with people has a higher reward than sharing privately, e.g. in a diary. Explaining probably why a lot of people blog and make videos on YouTube for thousands of people to see. Sharing your thoughts and feelings to people gives you good feeling in return, which is similar to what food and sex does. Which makes me wonder, somebody who has lots of brains, somebody who has a few brains, somebody who doesn't share a lot, and somebody who does share a lot, does this one feel a lot better than this one who isn't getting as rewarded for their big brains? Poor little man. The reason for this video being a little bit deep is because it just made me kind of think, is that the reason why YouTube has become so popular and addicting to so many people? It's allowed us to share our thoughts and feelings and it's given us good feelings in return. And it may not just be the audience giving us these good feelings that people on YouTube always say that the audience do for them. It could actually just be the neurons going on in their brains when they're sharing things about their lives to people on the internet. It's a crazy theory. But it could be right. But on that note, I didn't want to just make this like an educational video. So I decided to incorporate this video with a tag as well. So you guys can get some some form of entertainment from it too, maybe. And the little tag video I decided to bang on the end of this video is the unpopular opinion tag. I hope you enjoy. It's 7 o'clock. Thank you, computer. Pre-word of warning, some of you guys are going to hate my answers for this. Probably some of you are going to unsubscribe and just not like me as much as a person. I'm sorry. But this is the unpopular opinion tag and I'm not gonna hide any opinions because it's the whole point of this tag is to share your unpopular opinions. Question number one, a selection of TV programs you do not care for. Prison Break, Orange is the New Black, Breaking Bad, The Only Way is Essex, Gossip Girl, Misfits, Vampire Diaries. They're the main ones which probably you guys will murder me for so I'm gonna just stop here. I simply do not care for them because I've never really bonded with them. I've never sat down and thought, I'm gonna give you a chance. Number two, a selection of musical artists you do not care for. Any artists that are heavily to do with screamo, I can't stand screamo music. Bits of screamo in songs will do, but too much is just too intense for me and I won't enjoy it. Anyone that does opera, it's not my cup of tea. Rebecca Black, her songs are terrible. I used to love Justin Bieber, not gonna lie. He annoys me now because he thinks he's black. Anyone who uses auto-tune, obviously everyone does that to a certain extent, but someone who relies on a computer to make themselves sound good annoy me. Number three, a selection of celebrities you couldn't care less about. Paris Hilton. I was about to say that girl that went mental from She's the Man, but then I remembered that I actually used to like her, so I'd be quite upset if she went completely mental and killed herself. That would be quite tragic, because she used to be awesome. Any footballers? I don't care about footballers. People from Early Ways Essex. They're so dumb. For a hobby you just don't get. These. People who have been spending their life at the moment making these things out of loom bands. 
I can kind of see how it can be a little addicting and I can see the phase being a phase because when I was younger everyone was making things called Scooby Doo's but I just don't get it. I don't understand why people play football. Actually, I can understand why people play football, but I can't understand why people would watch it. Yes, I got a little bit into the World Cup when England were playing, but that's the furthest I will reach. People who take heavy drugs. People who like to skydive. Is that a hobby? I don't understand how anyone in their right mind would ever want to jump out of a plane and risk their life. Number five, a habit you find disgusting. Okay, I don't know if this counts as a habit. I guess it would be a habit, but people who, people who are just generally unhygienic. People who don't shower a lot. People who have greasy hair a lot because they don't wash their hair that much. People who have dirty fingernails because they don't wash a lot. And people who have smelly breath because they don't brush their teeth like twice a day or once a day at least. Do you even know how much bacteria is probably sat on your tongue? It just repulses me. So yeah, I just don't like smelly people. <laughs> Number six, something in school you really liked doing but everybody else bitched about. Probably this, <laughs> to be honest. I made videos when I was at school. People did like to talk about it and they asked what I was doing, why I was doing it, etc, etc. So I'm not necessarily saying they bitched about it but they kind of spoke about it as if to say why would you want to do that? But it's probably the only hobby I've carried on without getting bored of and every other hobby I've ever, ever had I eventually got bored of. Number seven, your favourite household chore. This one is kind of weird, it would have to be hoovering. I will tell you the reason. Three noises I really cannot stand in this world are the sounds of a hoover, a hair dryer, and a hand dryer. If I'm in the bathroom and there's hand dryers blowing everywhere, I cannot wait to get out of that bathroom. If I'm about to go into my house and I can hear the hoovers on, I get really annoyed about the fact I have to enter the house in a minute. If somebody's blow drying their hair, I have to leave the room. And it's just a weird thing that I have, I don't understand why I have it, I just don't like a loud noise which is repetitive and just the same tone for a long period of time, it just pisses me off. But the only time I can stand them noises other than the hand dryer because I don't use hand dryers at all is when I'm using them myself so if I'm given the chore of hoovering I can cope with the noise plus hoovering is kind of fun you see things on the floor you hoover them up and they're gone it's kind of magic number eight a popular video game that makes you go Meh. it would have to be every single game that involves shooting I can play games that have shooting in it but when it's just based around guns it completely is my brains with boredom. Number nine, PC or Mac? Mac by a million. If you're into media, Mac is all over PC. Number 10, a sport you don't like for whatever reason. I think we've already discussed that I do not like football. But if we're gonna be talking about another sport as well, just to spice things up a little bit, I'm gonna have to say, nope, I like every other sport. Number 11, a sport you do like for whatever reason. I really like swimming, I really like tennis and I really like ping pong and I really like badminton and I really like water polo and I like running yeah <laughs> oh do I have to say a reason I just like them <laughs> oh and I'm good at them I only like sports I'm good at or like rounders too love rounders number 12 television programs you love but have got shit for it before the big bang theory because people think that it's a really like dumb program they think that the people in it who are apparently meant to be really clever aren't clever at all if you actually listen to what they say when I don't really care I don't give a damn what their IQ is I just enjoy the entertainment humor and whatever so screw you take me out because it's a really trashy TV program which I agree with but I understand why people would hate me for it but I love it and it's just something I will not stop loving and Big Brother I used to like Big Brother when it was good back in the day actually last year but you know <laughs> and a lot of people have been against that because they think it's really crap. Number 14, a hobby that you have or find interesting that other people find weird for you liking it. I'm probably gonna have to say this again, the whole YouTube thing. And that's probably the only one I can say for that because I don't think I have any weird hobbies that people have things to say about. Number 15, a habit you have that other people don't like you having. My sister always gives me shit for this one. A habit that I have all the time is doing this with my fringe. I always play with my fringe. If I'm out in public and you see me, I will probably be touching my fringe and trying to fix my fringe. And it really bothers her and she tells me about it enough, so. 
please don't tell me about it if you see me doing it it's just a habit and I can't get rid of it number 16 something in school that everyone enjoyed doing but you simply hated not towards the end of school but at the beginning of school me and my friend always used to be the only one who wanted to run around and play games and play it and play chase and play stuck in the mud and play it chase and just do all the stuff and everyone just wanted to sit there and chill and eat lunch and be boring and oh, that used to piss me off so much number 17 a household chore that makes you want to chop your own face off I've never been asked to clean the toilet out but I can imagine that being a really unpleasant chore number 18 a video game that you enjoy that a lot of people don't No, a video game that you enjoy that you probably shouldn't I don't know why you shouldn't possibly enjoy a video game but I am still super duper in love with Crash Bandicoot Team Racing and I've got into it again even though it's a PlayStation 1 game I think it's really old and it's so 2000 and no it's so 1990 something I grew up with it and I'm still in love with it <laughs> why do I like such rubbishy video games number 19 a celebrity crush that even you don't understand somebody definitely sprung to mind as soon as I read this question it has to be oh what's his name the old guy from bucket list Jack Nicholson <sighs> I don't even understand my crush for him. There, there's, there has to be a reason though. There must be something there because he weirdly looks familiar to Shay from the Shaytard channel who I also have a little mini crush on. They look alike so there must be something there. There must be a reason why I like people like that. Old and big and cheeky looking. There's got to be a reason. <laughs> And last but not least, number 20 is a free rant on something that grinds your gears at the moment. Yeah, I know this is probably really, really, really stereotypical for a British person to be ranting about, but this weather is really annoying me. I love summer and I love the fact it's hot and it's not windy and you can just walk outside and nothing and still be like, ah, this is good. But it gets to a point where I cannot be in a room without the windows wide open. I cannot go to sleep and have a cover on me because it's so stinking hot that it takes me forever to even be relaxed and be tired because I just want to sweat my balls off. It's either freezing cold or boiling hot around here and why can't it just be in the middle? There's thunderstorms at night and then there's heat waves in the day and it's just driving me insane. <coughs> but that was actually the end of my, um, my miniature rants. Speaking of putting your opinion out there for the world to see and sharing your opinion online and stuff like that, there is also a way you can get paid to do that as well. Like if you're not a big YouTuber and you're not a famous blogger and you don't get paid to do stuff like that usually There is a way you can actually do that now and my sister uses this and I don't know if she's been doing it recently But I know that she's tried it once and I think it's called opinion outpost And obviously you've got to bear in mind that it's not going to make you rich But it's basically free to join and they give you a certain amount of points for every time you give your opinion on like a movie or TV or food or film or products and stuff like that and then you can in turn get rewards which can be cash or it can be an Amazon and gift card or an iTunes gift card so I can imagine that being quite fun to give a go if you want to then I'll put the link in the description to do that let me know if you do though like, let me know on Twitter or something because it'll be interesting to see how this like company works and how how far you guys can go with it and like I said because you don't get a lot of money for doing it it's just like a few extra bits of cash for summer or whatever you want to spend doing stuff with your friends on they also do like a hundred thousand dollar cash draw prize draw cash but for every active member so every time you put an opinion about something they enter your name into the prize draw imagine if one of the poop troops like won that how freaky cool would that be but you should think you have to be 18 to take part in the surveys oh 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 and also if you're uh, going to use your gmail account to sign up for them you'd have to click on the promotions tab in your gmail account because then you will see emails from them otherwise you don't and I've had that problem with gmail before but that's just another pre-word warning I don't want you guys to moan about things once you try and give them a go but anyway that's enough of that and that's enough of me because I've been going on for so much about opinions. So on the same topic guys, let me know in the comments what is the most unpopular opinion you've ever had in your entire life? Like what is something that you have had to struggle with throughout your whole life that other people don't agree with? Because I could sit here for ages and talk about so many of them. And other than that, that is all for today. I hope to see you in my next video which is in three days time because I make videos on this very channel every three days. If this is the first time you've seen my channel though, you can subscribe and be notified to see that next video and every other video I post in the future you can be notified so make sure you subscribe if you want to be a part of the poop troop or if you just want to be a part of my other social networking sites you can do that by clicking on the links in my cleavage in the description box below I've got Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram and all that sort of stuff. I love you guys so much I hope you're keeping well and remember to choose happiness and happiness will choose you and I love you guys very much so stay happy please. Bye!
going to be a survival guide on another school type related topic. Because a while ago I made a video on how to survive your first day at high school and how to survive high school in general. To my surprise you guys really liked that and it was really exciting to 